Another day, another Dora. Brock just came and picked his lift up. I didn't record nothing because he was recording. I felt weird about it. But I'm going to sneeze. Fuck! <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to go throw some more Bondo on that hood. Sand it down a bit. I checked the Bondo glass. That barely... It, eh, I'm going to have to rip it all off and do it again. But I'm going to go get some more Bondo later. Probably when I run out of propane. And then get done as much as I can get done with what I got. And we'll see where we're at. Okay. Been sanding for what feels like an hour now. I just brushed it all off of the broom because I don't fucking care, but you can see I gotta add more, obviously. I didn't make enough when I did this, but I just wanted to get like some in there so I wouldn't do this weird like wash over thing again. These are pretty good. You hit those with some 220 side, just a little high right here, 220. This is like okay until about here and then it gets a little low on this and then up here obviously I need more but I'm gonna go back over this with another coat and then just like I thought that Bondo glass just the chunks that were sitting on the top and I mixed it up just turned to mush on the inside because everything else hardened and those just didn't want to mix so I have a bunch of holes in this to where the chunks were that I just carved out with the uh, razor blade. And you can see I took a ton off because I used the flap disc first. But I'm gonna go over this whole nother coat with some regular Bondo. And then that should be good for this. And I haven't even started putting any Bondo on this yet. I sanded this down. This isn't terrible, but it don't fucking look good. And I got some in the corners that I can't really do nothing about. So I'm gonna try to pick that out with a razor blade. And then from there, I'm just gonna fill all the rest of them with regular Bondo and try not to make a mess. So I don't have to try to sit there and pick at it again. And as you can see, my super sick, nasty, really good paint started coming up a bit, but I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't see that. Put Bondo over it and it'll be fine. Nobody's gonna say nothing, don't say nothing. But yeah. Uh, lay another coat of Bondo on and show you what it looks like. Alright, I got another coat of Bondo down. Filled in all the holes on this, like the extra, as much as I could. Got the low spots here. Started doing the back of this. I don't know how the fuck that's going to turn out. It's probably going to need two coats at least. And then I went back over the top. And it's like 1.30 now, so I'm going to go eat some lunch and get some more Bondo. And then once this dries and I sand it, I'll show you what it looks like. But I already see a spot that's going to be an issue because it didn't mix. It is right here. There's still gray in it. So, I don't know. I might have to leave that alone for a while. This stuff is starting to dry already. So, probably give it an hour or so and I can sand it. It's not really thick. The only spot that's real thick is the top by the emblem. But we'll see how she goes. Alright, this is what we got so far. It's hard now. So we'll start sanding. Sanding. Bind around the hole, join. Got some low spots. Fill that in. It's the only one I'm filling in. I'm over it. I'm just gonna back this with more fiberglass and redrill it as it sits. I don't really fucking care. It's gonna get sanded. But just put it on so it's gotta dry, so it'll be back. My phone died after that last one, so it's been on the charger, but I sanded it, put another coat on, sanded it, put another coat on, so should be the last coat. And look at my shirt. Ignore the boxes. But yeah, this is the Projects Automotive. Alright, Instagram. Make cool stuff, just look them up. You can buy the Show my car on it from them. But I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna shower, I'm done for the night. It's cold, I ran out of propane. All right, it's been two days since that last clip. I got real lazy yesterday, so I didn't do nothing, but this is what it looks like. I ended up filling all those holes in anyways. Even though I said I wasn't gonna do it. Got a bunch of coats down on that. So, I should be done after I sand this, and then I can prime it and paint it. 
Okay, I got it most of the way sanded. I flipped it over so I could, you know, clean up the inside a little bit. And then I already sanded all the extra shit that was hanging off of there. I'm going to drill my holes out and uh, hope I don't blow the bondo out the back. And then I'm going to just tag some shit on the inside of here, spray it over the spots that I put stuff on. And then I flip it back over, clean all the dust out of here. I'm going to just air hose it all out the door because it's warm out. And then... Uh, Start priming it. So I'll flip back over, show you what it looks like after I'm done doing this, and then prime it. Okay, drill all the holes. Uneven, whatever. It's not the whole point of this. So now I'm gonna paint the back side of the fiberglass. And then hang this bitch up and brush all the shit out the garage and start priming the front. So another time lapse. Well, there's how it looks. Don't care, it's the inside. I didn't even prep anything. But got the door open for the fumes. I'm gonna move the hood and uh sweep most of this shit up, pressure air hose it out whatever don't really care something get it out of the way and then i'm gonna hang this hood up all right 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 here and just start priming the front of it so i'll be back in a minute okay now that i got the floor all cleaned out this hanging up i sprayed it off and wipe it down with some acetone and then cover up draven's car because he's got okay paint so we're just gonna Put a tarp over it so I don't get no overspray on it. Um, there is a few spots that are like real tiny that after I prime it, I'm just gonna wipe with glaze putty, which I think I have some. If I don't, I guess I'll have to finish this video tomorrow. But I'm gonna wipe it down with acetone and prime it, and you'll see what it looks like in the time lapse. All right, so I had to do a little bit more sanding than I wanted to. I found some spots that weren't really blended all that well. This is by no means a professional job and I barely know what I'm doing. It don't look that bad. You know, like I don't know if you can see it in the light, you see like where it ends. Holes don't look the best, but it's whatever. There's a few little spots. Maybe you'll see down here, you can see like the line, but it's not the end of the world. I really don't give a fuck. That's why I paint this car white to hide all the imperfections. So, now I gotta find a can of black. Sorry, Draven, I'm stealing some of your black. What's this? Nope, that's interior paint. So I can do inside. That's a good view of it. See any paint, Dragon. Don't look the best, but if the camera wasn't backwards, you know what it's. Good enough, and then we'll go down here to this one and just give her a little, bam. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry and close the garage up, start it raining. And then I'll come back out here and wet sand it a little bit. If I can find that stuff, I'm gonna fill those spots and if not, I guess it just be how it do for the time being because I ain't that hurt over it and I'll dab some stuff in there with the with the Q-tip later or something I'll be all right. So that's what it looks like and you'll see it uh, 
either one wet sanded it or painted. I let that time lapse go a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I have to keep opening the garage door between coats of paint so I can fucking breathe. Cause I have a mask, but I don't know if you can see it. Probably not, but it's all just rolling out. So I got wet sanded, two coats of paint on. I'm gonna let all this shit come out of here, turn the heater back on, put it underneath there, let it dry for like 15, 20 minutes, and then go back in, put a third coat on, do a fourth if I have enough paint just to cover up all the dark spots from the primer. And then uh, once it dries, throw it on the car so I'll see you in the next spot all right so I did the last coat off camera but I let it dry it's been a few hours I'll put it on the car and it fucking looks that ain't the best when you get up close but it's shit about to look hot on Instagram full shot of the car no more badge shit's fucking tight ah uh. It ain't the best, but never done it before. Got rid of that. The vents are pretty good. It's just a little high spot. I mean, it's whatever. Can't see it on the white. Can't see it on the camera when I'm standing back here. So that's what's up. Thanks for watching. Sub to my stuff.